Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I have had my hands in Grey Zone Warfare now enough to know that I want the game to be great and I hope that one day it actually is. Now before I begin, this is obviously my opinion. I know that there are a wide variety of people with all sorts of different system specs that have played the game, that are enjoying the game, that aren't having very many issues out of the game, although I would be willing to bet that most people who are playing the game have had issues and are still having issues. So this list is not going to drag on too long. However, these are things that I think for me personally make the game a bit unplayable or rather more frustrating to play than rewarding. So number one, the sensitivity scale. I don't really know why this is a thing in a lot of games that release nowadays, especially early access beta games. I really don't know how the sliding scale is determined, but the sensitivity of the movement mechanics and the aiming always starts extremely high however it's an extremely low value on the scale and what i mean by that is i could essentially do an entire 360 with my camera but the sensitivity is only set to 0.75 it goes all the way up to 10. i don't understand that i don't know how that's programmed i don't personally get it however it's kind of annoying to have a massive sliding scale to adjust sensitivity for free look and aim, but only have maybe 0.75 points of that scale to work with. Now, number two and three for me have been an ongoing amount of gun-related bugs. I know that this was mentioned in the recent patch notes as well as the hot fixes, the major update they did. For me personally, the errors that I keep running into are the fact that I cannot reload a personal weapon when I take it into a raid. I have no issues when I equip the gun in the safety zone. I can inspect the gun, check the chamber, reload the gun, all of those good things. But then as soon as I am running around in the world, in the raid, I cannot reload my gun. To second that, if I drop my gun, which I inevitably have to do because I cannot reload it, rendering me only 30 bullets to play with, I cannot pick the gun back up. I have no idea why this is the case. This has happened to me over half of the time when I enter a raid. I always end up having to pick up an enemy weapon, losing all of my attachments, losing the gun, the ammo, the magazines, because I cannot pick the gun back up off of the ground and or I cannot reload the weapon. Now moving on to point number three, or perhaps four for me, is the inconsistency in killing AI. The AI in this game, as everyone knows already and has mentioned several times before by now, are rather dumb and overall inconsistent. Some of the AI die rather quickly. Some of the AI require nearly half of a magazine to kill. And these are not AI that are different in any way. Oftentimes they're the exact same character model, maybe with a slightly different colored bandana. But all too often, I will shoot an AI enemy in the head, one tap, drops, dead. Other times, I will shoot an AI enemy in the head three or four or five times, and then still have to empty five more bullets into their chest before they will go down. Again, I don't know why this is the case. I don't know how it's programmed. I'm not sure which part of the game's mechanics this is directly related to, but the overall inconsistency in AI death for me is a trouble point. <laughs> Point number five, running. Running in this game is terrible. It's awful. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel smooth. It doesn't feel natural. It's It doesn't lend itself to a natural uh, traversal or flow through the map. The running mechanics of the model in this game are awful. The fact that you can only run in one direction at a time is awful. Now, to kind of explain what I mean by that, if you're running in any other game, Tarkov, Apex, Call of Duty, doesn't matter. If you are running, your character model is running, and you look to the left or to the right, you will continue to run in that direction. You will not stop running. Well, in Grey Zone Warfare, 
you can only run in one direction at a time. At least for me, if I run forward, let's just say north, I can free look to my left or to my right, and that's great. But if I need to quickly turn to the left or to the right and run either east or west, my character model has to completely stop running and then start running again in order for me to continue my run. That split second of time where your character model has to stop is is your death. It's your death. The fact that you cannot continue to run without having to stop and change directions first is, is terrible. I do not like the mechanics of the player at all. I think they're janky. They're not fluid. They're not smooth. Again, that is my personal opinion. Other people may not be having a problem with that. It seems like something that's built into the game fundamentally. Uh, however, as far as the way that your character operates, so I would say that most people are having that same issue. And don't get me wrong, again, the, th the free look is, is great, but that doesn't stop me needing to quickly evade in, in a different direction. I don't want to have to stop moving to reinitiate my run. Now, point number six would tie directly into that, which is the fact that you cannot tap to click when you sprint. You have to hold down the shift button, which I do not like at all. There are several other mechanics in the game, like leaning, for whatever reason, is hold only. You cannot press to lean. You have to hold to lean. You have to hold to sprint. How exactly am I supposed to aim my gun and walk around a corner while leaning if I have to hold down the lean button. Now for me, I'm using Q and E to lean, and I'm using A and D to move left and right, which essentially means I would have to pick my fingers up off of the keyboard and essentially use my middle and index, my middle finger and index finger on two keys to lean and slowly walk around a corner at a time. And that's just because of the way that I position my keyboard and position my hand. Now, if you have your lean keys bound to your mouse or something like that, or maybe even a, a lower level key like control and alt, it might not affect you that bad. I don't like that though. I'm using my mouse buttons for tactical equipment and lethal equipment. So I, I, I don't enjoy that at all. I, I don't know why there are some options in the game to be able to change to double click or press and release uh, and hold and then mechanics like lean which are used all the time as well as sprint which is used all the time you only have one option which is to hold now point number seven and this will be my final point for this video there are a myriad of other bugs and glitches in the game that will continue to be addressed some of which are uh, kind of annoying and frustrating and some of which don't really impact things too much But the biggest one and the one that everyone is the most familiar with is the performance overall of the game I've said it before in another video I made related to gray zone warfare And that is that I am NOT going to reconfigure my entire system to play your game I'm not going into the BIOS I'm not changing the settings of my CPU and my graphics card and the voltage and the power draw and the fan speed. I'm just not gonna do all that. We're already beta testing the game for free. We're already publicly beta testing the game. I'm not gonna reconfigure my entire system to get the game to run. When I first booted up the game, it looked like I had loaded into Minecraft and that is not an exaggeration. Everything was square, everything was 8-bit. I tweaked several settings in the menus according to the Discord server that is, in all credit, very active. Tweaked several settings in my game according to those suggestions to get the game to run, and I was able to successfully get the game to a playable state. In 1080p, I don't have any issues running the game. The frames are high, I'm usually maxing out on my frames unless I get into a gunfight and then maybe I'll lose 10 or 15. Um, on 1440p, which is the footage that you're probably watching right here, it looks much better. However, the frames are terrible. 40, 50, 60 frames max. I don't have a cheap system by any means. My, my hardware far exceeds the recommended requirements to run the game. Uh, so personally, I'm not really sure where the loss is coming from. It is obviously an unoptimized game, very resource hungry. Uh, but again, this is just my experience. I really do want Grey Zone Warfare to be a great game. I think that it offers something really fun and unique and it has a lot of potential. I love the map. I love 
you know, the helicoptering in and out of the map. Obviously, it would be a, a tremendously fun game to play with friends. It does need far more to do in the map. There need to be far more points of interest added to the game. Uh, there's way too much empty landscape. Uh, you know, the game is only 20% complete, and that's straight from the developer's mouth, uh, in my opinion. Uh, that's way too incomplete to release. Uh, and, and, you know, realistically, even though I uh, don't have any reason right now to, to distrust that the developers are going to do what they say they will, uh, they're, they've been very responsive and on top of it and very uh, communicative in the Discord. You know, we're, we're just looking at another game here yet again that's going to be in, in development for years. I mean, we're, we're looking at a game that we've paid for, that we're playing, that we signed up for, that's going to be in development for years. And eventually, it probably will become a really solid game to play in this space. I'm not going to go on a rant about why I don't really agree with that model. I, I don't, but I want it to succeed. I hope it succeeds. I just think that there's a ton of work to do. And after having spent roughly, I don't know, 10 or so hours in the game, which is far less than some, I know, uh, I didn't need any more than that, though, because the mechanics of the game, the foundations of the game, and how the game works are just so difficult to get around. They're so buggy and just unoptimized and not fluid that me personally I can't I just can't play it uh, for those of you out there who have really really high-end systems five thousand dollar plus rigs uh, you may have no problem playing the game at all and that's great uh, the issue is and I think the overall point is is that that's not the way that it should be especially when we're paying for the product it shouldn't be that yeah, the game runs great if you've invested an entire used car budget into your computer. You know, the game should be released at a baseline level that is playable on a wide range of systems. And that's just not the case with this game. I love the vision for the game. I love the ideas that the game has and is implementing. Obviously, the mechanics everyone's familiar with if you come from the Tarkov scene. And I hate to say it, but unfortunately, Tarkov is just still the most well-optimized game in this space right now. I know that Arena uh, Breakout runs really well also, but unfortunately, Arena Breakout has been reserved for a select group of creators, and who knows when the game is going to release, who knows when the second phase of beta testing will come out, even when it does, it's still going to only be reserved for a select group of creators. So, you know, we're just kind of SOL. Tarkov, unfortunately, even though what they did is wrong, and I do not support them doing that. I don't think anyone should pay for that pack, uh, considering that they're being blatantly robbed of what they originally paid for. Unfortunately, the game just is still the best in what it does. Breakout being the only other competitor, but it's not available for everyone to play. I'll wrap the video up there, guys and gals. I appreciate you listening to me rant. If you are playing Grey Zone Warfare, I'd like to know what your experience has been with it. I'd like to know what you have done to maximize your performance out of the game, what your biggest complaints about the game are, where you see the game going, if you trust that the game is going to come to its full fruition. I think it has a ton of potential. I just think that right now it falls far too short to be a game that I could sit down and enjoy for hours on end. If you like the video, throw a like on it. It helps a ton and it's totally free. Dig through the archive of videos on the channel. We talk about a whole heck of a lot of stuff. We play a whole heck of a lot of stuff. I'd love to have you here. I'd love to have you in the live streams. If you feel like subscribing to join up on any of that content, that's even better. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video.